American woman. She's paying her rent. She's paying her ga uh, gas. She's paying this. She's paying, and then you just jump from nowhere and come and tell her that if she submit submissive to you. Hi guys, I'm Gabby, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here and if you're returning, thank you so much and welcome back. So in today's video, this is a continuation. This is part three of a three-part series that I have with my special guest, my hubby. Introduce yourself. Yeah, um, I'm Muhammad. Okay, so we're just continuing the conversation. And I think at this point, we're going to just be talking about life after um, in the U.S. My husband getting his um, approval for his green card. So Yeah, um, once again, um, I'm Muhammad. And um, I'm happy to be on this channel. So, my experience in the state, you know, I'm African, I'm a Ghanaian specifically. Let's say our culture and American culture are different. So, um, when you marry to American woman, either white or black, they have their own culture. So, um Africans really follow the scriptures a lot, right? So they go about the scriptures, right? So anything they do, they let the scriptures guide them. America here, I think, is like that. It's like that, but it's not like hundred percent. Africa, they took it like it's hundred percent everything, right? So, um, <clears throat> you know, African woman, women. Are amazing American women are amazing too but uh, African women the way American women and kids have power in America Africa is not like that you know yeah they have certain laws about women but it's, it's not like America America here you can joke with women and kids you know yeah so Africa it's different. The difference between American woman and African woman is African woman can be somewhere 28, 30. She still live with the, her parents. Right? America here from 18 going upwards to 30 you have to be by yourself or something you know you have to get some work to do you know africa is hard for you to get a job here it's easy there is job in america if you are not lazy you can do you can you can do amazon from the beginning you can go to mcdonald's do something you know africa is not like that you know yeah so you start getting some small, small money, 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 you know, and you know, one American woman, like 20, 28, 30, going there, they have their own place, their own apartment, right? The American woman, the American woman, African woman, some of them live, or let's say 50 or 60 percent of them live with their parents, you know, and they work. Okay, let me do this. Um, Africa, we do our things cash. America, they do credit, right? So that is the difference. Before you get money, cash and go and rent is hard. You, your salary itself is small. They pay us monthly. America here, they pay them weekly or every uh, two weekly, weeks, yeah. you know? So anytime, anytime, now and then money is coming to you. Right, so if you have plans, you use it and do it. Right, okay. So, um, the Africa too is like you have to get cash before you do whatever you want to do, so you don't do credit. Okay. So, majority of the women lives in their parents' place, and so if you want, if you go, you are a man or a guy, you go and date African lady. He will be moving from his parents' place and come and see you. Okay, so let's see. We'll come to you. We'll come to you like it 
to come and, she will come and spend some uh, weekends with you at times certain lady certain lady, women can move and come and live with you without marriage the man has not married you so from there and you guys will plan and see how you guys will marry so anything you tell the woman to do because they follow uh, uh, like the scriptures scriptures like they will say that be sub, sub, submissive to your husband we have a quotation in the scriptures like that right they do american woman she's paying her rent she's paying her ga uh, gas she's paying this she's paying and you just jump from nowhere and come and tell her that she submit submissive to you you know it's it's kind of so the uh, american women are uh, um and more independent. more independent like they are they are head of the family already african men are the head of the family so i see now and then africa and america or europe let me put it in general no, only america europe they have issue between african guys and the women or african women and the guys it's because of this thing you know they have their own way doing their own thing so you the person either a man or a woman who who is coming from that side of town a uh, 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 country africa to the to the americas or the europe and other things you have your own coach culture so when you come you are you are here so you have to come in learn about their culture and try and adjust it's not going to be easy right because the way you do things back home is different from the way they do things here right so that is the misunderstanding africa when your child do something you beat her you are correcting her you yell at her here you can't do that yeah you can't do that at times you can there's some people that Think, but not babe there's you see if, if africa child get that spank you guys spank here mm. they'll be thankful do you know <laughs> oh, what okay, they do okay okay yeah so right. it's so it's and they don't yell because the kids can we okay let me put this let's talk about uh, um, um, uh, language barrier here we speak english america speak we we speak english let me put it in general i will speak english america speak english right okay i can say something in english in my way my wife will not understand she will not understand for instance when i say that let's say i'm going out i'm going to um, walmart and i said that um I would tell my wife that, oh, um, babe, I'm coming. Hmm. I'm going to Africa. When you say you are going, because I'm saying, babe, I want to go to Walmart. So automatically, she knows that I'm going to Walmart. So when I said that, hey, babe, like time, I'm, the time is now. I'm going now. So I say, babe, I'm coming. To me, that means we don't see it the same way. That used in the be in the beginning. That used to confuse me so much. What do you mean? <laughs> to to us, it's a total difference. It's like we speak English, but the terms are different. So that's why I'm a lot saying. Of confusion. That's why I'm saying that. And I and yeah, that's why I'm saying that it's language barrier, mm -hmm. right? And. Uh, I work with um, some white guys, right? I think I'm the only black in our department. I'm the only black, right? And I use some word that uh, Africa we use that word without no any arm um, or no any thing bad, right? We say, hey, you guys, what are you doing? And the guy says that why are you being racist? <laughs> Why? Because you want me to say, "Hey, you y'all, you y'all, not not you y'all, y'all, y'all." <laughs> see, you see something like that. 
yeah, you say you I'm guys, being, this kid you say you guys, you say uh, I'm being racist. I say, mm -hmm. oh no. Well, in the south, you can't. You know, <laughs> so that is how the language barrier is very important. So you have to, when you come in new, you have to understand all this, right? And um, this is yeah. a learning process. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the woman here doesn't understand you. Never. They love you, but they will not understand you. Not about the the, the uh, 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 language barrier. No. Them, bro, sis, forget that they will, they, will, they will be down for you like African woman forgets. Hold on. What are you talking about? I'm babe, I'm trying to be honest here. I'm trying to be honest here. Mm -hmm. American woman. No. Like, she can give you one billion dollars. She can do this for you. She can do that for you. She can do this. But telling her that, hey, no, don't go there. No. Like she said, example, like she's going to party. African woman say, hey, babe, um, this is my friend, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to party, right? I say, babe, no, I think it's no good idea. Don't go. It's raining. Don't go. American woman, you will tell me what to do. You didn't. Do you, hey, it, I know this, my friend, before you. They did. I and don't do say, that, though. I'm not saying okay. you do that. I'm <laughs> saying that that is American woman. That is how. And do you know what you do? What are you? So, please. <laughs> so, that is how they are. You can't come from nowhere and come to their home and start ruling. They don't like that. That is that that is how they are. African woman is she will, African woman when she argue herself, she will understand and stay. American woman, no. She will not stay. But you know, at times you the guy or you the man supposed to cooperate with her because that is their culture. So time to time to time to time, then you will make her understand your culture because you are here to learn their culture. You know, so time to time to time, then you guys talking and you try to work things out. So that's what you've been doing, working things out? Yeah. And from the beginning, anything I see, I pinpoint it. No, uh, yes, from the beginning, anything I see, I pinpoint it. So what does that mean? Meaning... When she does something or something happened in the house, <clears throat> I say, hey, hey, why this? Why, why this? So <clears throat> it keep on happening that now and then we argue anytime we argue because when you see it, you have to say it. If it's not the right way, you say it, but she feel like, oh no, you can't be telling me every day, me this, every day, me, I have issue every day, this. Every. So you the man, you have to cooperate, right? You have to. Let things go at times. So when you see something, you look at it, you laugh, you walk away. You see things, you, at times you talk, at times you walk. So you work it out. That is how it is. That is what I, I mean by working it out, right? You see it, you close one of your eyes, you go. At times you open your two eyes, you see it. You know, at times you have to stood firm. When you think this thing is not is bad, you have to stood firm and see it. But at times when you see all this things, no, anything like, just ignore it, just go. If you don't do that, I don't think the marriage will stand because it's two different culture here. Mm -hmm. A lot of like compromising and adjusting. Yes, yes. Thank you for compromising. <laughs> <laughs> like your first 90 days, what did that look like? Um, yeah yeah it's very difficult to adjust very 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 deep things are different i nearly went back home <laughs> bro i'm not going to lie to you i nearly nearly went, went back home i called somebody from canada so my wife i i said on my earlier video that my wife traveled right so she went to south carolina for some time so I'm not working because I just came. So small time, um, you watch movie. How long? I like movie. I don't go out. I like music, right? You listen to music. You, you don't go nowhere. You don't know anybody. Your wife is not home. Your daughter is not home. Where? Who are you going to? Music. 
you know you get fed up right so i i went to sit in the bar station right that time we live in Sunday Springs. So when I went to see the bus, they just watching the cars. Africa is, is common doing that. So I call a friend in Canada. I say, I don't feel comfortable. I don't know. I, I'm not doing it. Like, I'm, what is this? And my ticket too is one month. And within the same month, I'm, I'm frustrated. Like, nothing. I don't see anything. Like, what is this? Like, you know? <laughs> now my friend, she's in Canada almost like 25 to 30 years. And say, hey, guy, right, let me tell you something. That is how it is. When it come, when you start working, all this will cut off. Like, when you start working, you are active. Right now, you don't do anything. So, you feel like, useless useless like mm -hmm. you don't go don't don't try don't think of it try and get work when you get start working everything is going to be fine and i say okay so where are you right now so i'm sitting in the bus station doing what see i'm watching cars say yo call cab on you get out and go home <laughs> somebody will call cab on you get out and go home <laughs> and i say ah I'm sitting in the bus. Why somebody will call cover me? He say, "You are in America, okay? You are not in Africa. <laughs> you are in America. Somebody will see you sitting there. There. I say, ah, but okay. The person who and I'm arguing, right? You know, some new village guy in this in America, you know. So and I say, ah, but the person too knows that I'm sitting in the bus station. So maybe I'm waiting for a bus. Say, see." In America here, yeah, we have some people, or we have cameras around, right? We are watching you sitting for a very long time. When the bus comes and you didn't down. get into the bus, and the bus go and you still sit there, the next thing is nine one one. Before you see Jack, you are in the station. Before they will see that oh you were new, they waste your time. Get out. And I listened and I went and I just and so my wife my wife came back from South Carolina and I started pushing her. I said, babe, I will do anything. I'm a technician. I say, babe, I don't mind, I will do anything. My wife now started looking for a job. So my first job is Amazon. I said, oh, three days job. I said, babe, I don't mind if it is one one hour job so three days. <laughs> So three days job, so I was supposed to go at night and I don't have a car. So she had to go and drop me and yeah, she said a lot. You know. At times at times too it's rough on her and at times at times too she be rough on me because I can I can finish my hours like four AM and I'll be sitting yeah, waiting you had to wait for her hours to make a come pick you come up. pick me up and you know, you working overnight. Yeah, it was rough. you have to sleep, you know. I see uh, this guy is tired, but yeah, because we were trying so, to like be go to work. It's just one car, work. so we are we trying take to take my daughter to school. Our daughter or your daughter? Our daughter to school. So, I was getting calluses in my hand from, from driving so much. You see, all that driving. You see how Americans, women, you see how they talk. <laughs> yeah, you see. Africa woman will see our daughter. It will put our you daughter. by force. It will, our it will put you by force. <laughs> So, that's our crazy thing. Yeah, so um that is how it is, that is how it works out and I um got his license. I get my licenses got a car. I got a car and now I start so pursuing what uh, my field, let me say this mm -hmm. is my field and I start working. And now everything is okay now when you tell me and one at the I, I remembered one fun time, like let's say six to one year time, my wife asked me, Did you miss home? See somebody who want to go home within that month. And say, Did you miss home? I say, For what? What is there should I miss? I forgot that I'm the person, the same person saying that I want to leave. I want to go back home because I don't have work doing. You know? I say, Me, missing? No, I, I just miss my daughter. That is it. You know, so. Um, uh, we are uh, we have a lot of people used to come to overseas and 
they don't feel good and they go home back. When you do that, it's wrong move. You try and come, be patient and pursue what you want to do. It's very important. Very, push very through the difficult season that you're having. Yeah, just push through it. And um, I see this my colleagues, they know that I'm African and they, 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 they keep on saying that, and so how do you like America? <laughs> I say, oh, America is good because me, I like, I, I, I'm a workaholic, right? I like work. Workaholic. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I like work. So, I say, oh yeah, yeah, America is good, but it's when it is cold, <laughs> I can manage it. I know. And one white man came and said that, oh, don't worry, Mo, you get used to. Yeah. That time. We are in this, I think January or February. That is the time it's too, it's cold, cold, it right? It gets here, it gets cold. January, okay. February. And the man, the, we are having our, me and my colleague are having a conversation when there was some white, where some white old man came in. We didn't invite him in the conversation. I said, oh, Mo, Mohammed, you'll get used to. Now look at the old man. The old man have almost like 18 jackets on him. <laughs> A lot of jackets. But you get so I look, I look at them, my old man. And as he said, so right now, as you are standing, are you used to the cold? <laughs> yeah, I'm used to the cold. I say, okay, take all the jackets off. And the old man started laughing, you know. Cold, we don't get used to cold. Bro, when it is cold, it's cold. Prepare. Cold is cold. Some people, this, I have a new job, right? This is my new job. <laughs> I have a new, we have a new staff. I will not going to mention his name. He's a black guy, but he's American. And before, the, before we are in December, like November, he joined the company. And I see, one fine day is cold. And I see, hey guy, it's cold. You know what he told me? He said, Oh, me, I like the cold. He said, No, I like the cold, I don't like it. I said, Okay. Today, today, as I'm talking to you, <laughs> it's raining and it's a little bit chilly, mm-hmm. right? <clears throat> and I said, And we are, and I kept, I'm having conversation with them, so I kept them outside. See, and see what. Mohammed, it's too cold. I said, bro, you like the cold. You like the cold. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's it's like that. It's life, you know. Life is good, and um, you know you have to try and do your best. Don't try to please anybody. In this world, you can't please no one. No, please yourself. Don't try to please no one in this world. Be yourself try and please yourself because when you please someone another person will say that what you did he doesn't like it so anything you do in this world someone will like it someone will dislike it so don't try to please no one please yourself you feel like whatever you are doing is good for you it's you and live it that way when the person like it or not you are doing it for yourself you are not doing it for no one it's very, very important. Very, very important. Yeah. Like, you had expectations of... Like, what was your mentality coming okay. here? Okay. Our family back home, our sisters and brothers, friends, and other things. They feel like when you come to overseas, it's easy. Everything is easy. Everything is cheap. Everything is... Easily accessible. Like, like everybody has everything. Everything. Everybody's rich. For rich. Some like <laughs> yeah. That is how we think, Africa people. But mm. um, I do I do understand them in certain ways, and I don't understand them in certain ways. I'm part of them. That is how I used to think. But when you when you are in the soup right now, and you are telling them, but me, I know where I'm coming from. And I know how we 
we, we, we hustle back home, I would love to God, I would love God to give everybody opportunity to travel. I'm not going to say that Europe or America is not good. Never. No matter what the situation is, you'll get something to do if you are not lazy. But it's not easy. Because it's not easy back home and you can't get job to do. And you are struggling to get money. Right? Mm -hmm. That is the difference between America and Africa. America is not easy. It's taxes, 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 You're struggling right? Too. You're struggling. Paycheck to paycheck, most people. Right? Mm -hmm. But you still have paycheck. But back home, mm -hmm. they take you some. It doesn't take. They don't. They don't take taxes like America mm -hmm. or overseas. Mm -hmm. But you don't get the money self to pay the taxes. Did you see the the difference? Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't get the money, sir. The small money too you will get, they will still take it. Small taxes. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, the work I do in Africa, they pay me money, right? Mm -hmm. The time I came here, the job I do here, they pay me weekly. My weekly pay is my three months or four months pay in Africa. You see? But you can't you can't really compare, compare because the cost of living. The yeah. cost of living here to we spend um dollar 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 mm -hmm. day. Yeah. But still it, it, it's good. It's still still is good. Babe, if it is not good then as we move to Africa. Yes. <laughs> <Let's Yeah. go. laughs> if you are Africa when you have money and you are living in Africa it's good. You will enjoy your money. You know, yeah. But if you don't have money, bro, no, don't venture, don't go. To be honest with you, if you don't have money, no, don't go. First of all, let me thank my wonderful husband for doing this for me, for being with me today. I appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed him and want to see more, leave a comment. It's more with Mo in the comment section it's below. Him Mo. <laughs> no, we want more. more. With yeah. Mo. So yeah. In the co comment that you know, comment section my, below. My, my name is my name is, uh, is 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 very good. You know, it's King Mo Money. King Mo King Money. King Mo King Money. So you can say Mo. We have Mo. We have, We want King Mo tips. King Mo tips. What? <laughs> yes. You want tips, right? Or you want com you have to put comments and you see oh, more comments, more comments. It's so it's more M O. More comments. And, and spell mo, uh, more. More is M O R. And you make it short. My name. It says it M O. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay. That, okay. <laughs> Please don't add right. this thing. Add it. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, if you have any more questions for us, you can leave that in the comment section below. I hope you found something um, we shared with you helpful or you at least enjoyed it. <clears throat> and again, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And um, if uh, maybe you want us to talk about something, you can just put it in the comment section. That's all, okay. Um, so maybe example, as you go, who went to the embassy, what happened, or like something you want us to talk about it. If you have the knowledge to give it out, we'll give it out. Yeah, so if you have any suggestions, any videos, any comments, like you said, just leave them in the comment section below and we can do that for you, no problem. We aren't experts, we aren't immigration lawyers or anything like that, but we're just sharing our experience on our immigration story and hopefully what we share can help you. So, Again, thank you for um, joining us and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.